Hello all, welcome back to my channel. It's Alicia here with Farm Life Glam and today, for your viewing pleasure, we are going to run through my favorite summer uh, makeup look. It's basically my everyday summer look. I have worn it nonstop throughout the summer. It has held up in plus 30, it's held up through like sweaty golf tournaments, um, it's held up through functions. So I wanted to share it with you guys. I think I got it down to a science. We all know I change that uh, quite frequently, but anyway, without further ado, I want to share with you guys my favorite Summer 22 makeup look. So the first product I want to talk about is, I do have my skincare on, but I have been going in with an extra layer of hydration. In the summer, I'm so, so dry in the summer, especially right across uh, my nose and my top of my cheeks. Uh, my chin gets really dry. So this has been my go-to product. This is the Hydration Cream V10 by Refer. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, well, is that gonna focus on that? There we go. This is the Refer Hydration Cream V1.0, so version 1.0. I believe they're coming out with an extra hydrating version, so that'll probably the, the 2.0. It has 5% niacinamide, 3% dimethicone, 2% centella asiatica, 1% metal foam seed oil, and then eight hyaluronic acid complexes. This is, says it's for all skin types. So what I like about it for summer especially is it's a very lightweight moisturizer, almost a gel consistency, which for me is so good for the hotter months. Um, and I find that just adding like a pea size amount just to those areas that are super dry helps my foundations to soak in better and alleviates that caking um, that some, some foundations do, um, alleviates it going in my fine lines. So I really make sure I get my fine lines quote, coated, coated with this product. For foundation, I actually have two products, but one brand. These have been my go-to the entire summer. I do have other products I like. I could probably handle putting them in my summer phase, but if I'm doing my very favorite skin products for everyday wear, I'm going to have to come down to the Chanel products. This is the Chanel Le Beige Water Fresh Tint. Um, I think you've probably seen me talk about this multiple times. There we go. Um, this one is a light coverage, sheer coverage tint. So this one is what I wear when I go golfing. I wore it last year when I would rodeo. Uh, it doesn't have any SPF in it, so you gotta make sure you have your SPF on, um, which I already have put on. Actually, let's, let's backtrack for two seconds here. My favorite SPF for the summer has been the Summer Friday Shade Drops Broad Spectrum SPF. I did quite a little discovery journey for SPF that I loved. And this Summer Friday Shade Drops came out highly on top. It works beautifully under makeup. It blends into the skin absolutely like perfection. It's just the consistency that I like in, in SPF. Not too sticky, not too heavy, no white cast. It actually just feels like a skin serum going on. So Summer Fridays uh, definitely takes the win for SPF during the summertime. Of course, I forgot to put it in my little pile here because it's already on my face. So having said that, Getting back to the water fresh tint, no SPF, so you do need an SPF underneath. Um, this product, though, it has that little encapsulated pigments in the serum, so it breaks up on your hands or as you rub it in between your fingers before you apply it. And I do like to rub it in between my fingers and apply with my fingers for both products. But this one is just a lighter, sheer tint. It just evens out the skin. It doesn't apply or offer much coverage. But for an everyday product, oof, so good. So bringing me into what we will be using today, I have the Chanel Le Beige Water Fresh Complexion Touch. Same concept, um, it has the encapsulated pigments in it, in the serum. It has, oh, it's not gonna focus for me, hey? There we go, oh, the lights, anyway. Um, I hope you can grasp the concept of what I'm holding. The Waterfresh Complexion Touch has, I believe they say, three times the coverage, 
with these water pigments. So I, you're not getting a full coverage out of this, which is not my jam. If you follow me for any amount of time on here or on Instagram, at Farm Life Glam, check me out. Um, you will know that this is not, like full coverage is not my style. I like to have my skin show through. I have hyperpigmentation. I'm okay with that showing through. Uh, it's just where I'm at in life. I'm, I'm okay with who I am and I'm okay with who my skin is, what my skin is. So this gives me just the right amount of coverage that I like to have, um, but doesn't make me look mm, cakey. And then it can hold up to the sweat and as it fades off throughout the day, it still stays looking beautiful as well as it applies or provides uh, much needed hydration through the summer months. So, so let's just go ahead and apply this. I take one pump. This is in the shade B40. This is my summer shade. It's starting to get a little bit deep on me. Um, I do have the shade B30 to mix in for the winter, but as far as right now, B40 has been cutting it. I like to break the pigmented capsules on my hands or on the tips of my fingers like so. And then I start it in the middle of my face and work it out, blend it out. So I will add it to the middles. And then with my fingers, I just like to blend it out. This is where I like to have the most coverage is right in here. So that's where I like to start it. So I have wore this to a lot of events. This is more my event or like if I'm going out for supper um, choice, the water fresh tint is what I wear every day, but I didn't want to show you the lower version because I just really enjoy the finish and the look of this. And I think this will be appreciated more by everybody because most people are looking for a little bit more coverage than I am. And then I do carry it down my neck because my neck does not tan at all uh, during the summer. I have a white spot right here where my head covers it from the sun. And then once I blend it out, I just like to push it in with my fingertips, like so. All right, so there's one layer. You can still see a little bit of my hyperpigmentation through it. You can still see um, spots. I don't have a lot of acne, so that's not really a problem for me. I'm not covering that, but I do have fine lines and wrinkles. So I like to keep product from collecting in those fine lines and wrinkles. If you wanted to, this is buildable. You can take another little small amount. I like to break it up in my fingertips again. And then I will just go ahead and dab it where I need a little bit more coverage. This is more like if I'm really going out like a major event, this is where I get to. And I know not a lot of people like to use their fingers or if you don't like to use your fingertips, it's okay, this works great with especially the Refer 31 brush. I've used brushes. Um, I have not tried it with a blender because it's so hydrating. I'd be scared that the Beauty Blender would soak up too much of it. So by adding another layer, you can still kind of see the pigmentation through it, but it does give me a, I would say, a medium coverage. For the next step, I actually like to go in with my bronzer and my blush before I do concealer. So we're gonna skip to bronzer and I have the product of the summer. The product of the summer. Here, this is the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer. This is an all over warming complexion tint. You're probably, if you watch YouTube at all, you've probably seen this absolutely everywhere. Um, I have it in the shade medium for summer and it's kind of like a cream bronzy product that looks deeper in the pan than it does when you get it on the skin. So there is the swatch of it and you can see it just blends out to like a very balmy, uh, kind of like enhancing bronzer. So this is a hard one to describe for me because he basically says it in the name. He has this transforming skin enhancer and that is what I find it is. So I like to use my Refer 31 brush. I, it, it's dirty, don't judge me. Um, and I just dip it into the, the skin enhancer and I proceed to just bronze up around the perimeter of the face. And this is not going to give you a huge amount of like uh, opaqueness. It is such a beautiful product. It literally just enhances the 
tone of your your tan like it just makes your skin look more tan than it already is and that's what I love about it so you can see it there it's just like gives a balmy glow it does stay a little bit wet or tacky but nothing that I can't handle um, I would let you know I don't like tacky skin so I would let you know if I if I thought it was too much uh, I do really really like it when I'm outside and I get sweaty because it holds up really well to uh, like a sweaty, sweaty situation. <laughs> uh, yeah, we all know. We all know the sweaty situation. So then I'll take a little bit and just apply it down here on my chin. I'm just doing the same old bronzing where I naturally bronze, which is really easy to tell in summertime. The next product I want to show you is a powder bronzer. I like to set this if I'm going out um, to a function or to an occasion. If not, if it's every day, I just leave the Makeup by Mario Enhancer on and I call it quits there. Um, but I've been using this product for mm, five years, four years, three years. Ugh, it's been a long time. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer in the shade Luminous Bronze Light. So what I do is I pick it up on a Refer 22 brush. Um, if you're not familiar with refer brushes, you need to get familiarized with them. They actually have a BOGO sale going on, I believe, right now as I'm filming this. And the brushes are just the best in the game. So I don't take much of this. I literally just lightly set that enhancer, that skin enhancer. So the next product for that I have been loving for uh, summer is the Le Beige Water Fresh Blush. So these are the blushes that are in conjunction with their other Water Fresh products. I have the two in Deep Bronze and Light Pink. I've used them both equally amounts. They are the same thing, pigmentation capsulated in the serum that comes with them. So they're hydrating, but they also are more of a light sheer tint. Uh, I think I'm going to go in with Deep Bronze today. Now when you look at these on the website, you're going to think, wow, Deep Bronze is super dark. It is. You just have to be careful with it. I can use these with my fingers and I can use these with a brush. So either way, you're going to win with this. Um, and I'm sure you could use this with a beauty blender as well. So what I'm gonna do is pump one pump, not even, half a pump on the back of my hand. And you'll see that there. And then I'm going to break up the capsules on my hand so that when I go to pick it up, it's already blended and it's not going to lift or cause any problems with my base that I already have. So there's the color of deep bronze. So pretty. And then what I do is I just tap it into my skin and you'll notice it's super hydrating, which is probably why I like the Water Fresh stuff so much in summer is because it hydrates my skin as well as provides the coverage and the color. And then I'm gonna take it up the side of my nose. And I'm going to run this with my finger in through my crease of my eye just to give us some more cohesive coloring there. Got a little low there. So I'm going to just take this brush here and I'm just going to blend it further even with that skin enhancer on there. All right, so you can see this is the side with the Water Fresh blush. It's stunning. And this is without. So let's add some to the other side. We have our, bl our blondes, our, and now that we have our bronzer and our blush on, we're going to conceal the under eyes. As you can tell, it's a little bit white under there, a little bit blue under there. We need a little bit of coverage, just a little something, something. So it's so funny because I actually thought I hated this concealer. Last year I was like, I don't like it, and I put it away. This summer I pulled it out to use up because I only use it in the summer time because it's too dark for winter. But I have reached into the Milk Makeup Flex Concealer. This is in the shade Light Sand. It's so good. So, so good. I can tap this in with my finger. I just apply it in the inner corners and a touch on the outer corners. I'm not concealing all over the face or highlighting anywhere else. Um, but I just use my finger and I proceed to tap that in. I have my mirror over here if you're wondering where I'm looking. And I bring it down this kind of on the side of my nose and then I use my whole pad of my finger to blend it out just along the under eye. And this does a great job of concealing the blueness 
as you can see, and it does add a little touch of brightness under the eye, but not too much. And by using it over top of my bronzer and my blush, I just find it gives such a natural finish to those other products. It's my favorite technique to do. The product is just amazing. So from here, I can choose to set or not set. Some days I will set with powder, um, especially my T-zone if I need it to stay like stay in place for the day. Some days I just let it live like this and I find that everything wears off absolutely beautifully. By the end of the day, you still look put together. Um, there's no major makeup missing, but I do want to set with you guys because I do have a favorite powder for the summer. I'm pretty sure this is going to be for the winter favorite as well. This Huda Beauty, uh, what is this called? Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder by Huda is unbelievable and it's no secret around the internet. It literally is pretty much everybody's favorite and I and for good reason. It blurs and sets so beautifully and for dry skin, it doesn't dry my skin out. So what I do is I take my Beauty Blender puff thing, I forget what it's called exactly. I pick up the powder, it's got this mesh netting in here so that it's not all over the place and I proceed to just rub that into my hand so it's evenly distributed on the puff and I just go in and lightly set. And I will set one side so you guys can see the difference. All right, can you tell the difference? Oh, you can so tell the difference. This side is set, this side is unset. Can you see the blurring that happens on your pores? It is beautiful and it will keep your uh, foundations and most of your products from sinking into any fine lines, like my smile lines here, tend to collect product if I'm not careful. So I like to just lightly, set. and this is a light setting, I'm barely using any product. But it just makes your skin look flawless and it keeps your makeup in place all day. So in summer, uh, highlight is not something I'm into. I am just not into powder highlights at all. I have these littlest amount of highlights of life. Where I finally bought, I think the highlight of my dreams. I think. Uh, this is the Say Glowy Super Gel in Star Glow. It's, it literally is a glowy gel product. And I have been loving it. So all as I do, is squeeze out a small amount. I mix it between my fingers again. Of course, my I'm, summer is like my fingers are my main tool when I apply my makeup. And I just proceed to tap this into the high points of my face. So it doesn't give, it's got a little bit of a glimmery look to it. It's not glitter per se, um, but it's such a fine amount that it just gives this absolutely beautiful, amazing glow to the skin without overdoing it. And that's exactly what I've been looking for all these years. I don't like a huge amount of glow on my skin. I definitely don't like it if it's going to accentuate my texture and uh, dry my skin out. So this has been my go-to. And yeah, I just absolutely, absolutely love it. I'm not sure what else to say about it. But I am going to go back in with it here. I'm going to skip back. I'm going to skip back to my bronzer, the hourglass bronzer that I use. Now you remember I put some of the blush in my on my crease and I'm going to now take this bronzer and run it across my lid and in my crease. And this is my <laughs> this is my eye look of the summer. Deep easy. And then I'll take a tiny little squirt of that super glow gel, the say gel, and I like to just tap this right at my lash line on my eyelids just to give a little bit of a glow and dimension and then in the inner corners and that is basically my summer eyeshadow hands down every day every day every single day and it just brings the look together makes it look monochromatic both I love um, I'm gonna pop on some mascara. I ran out of my favorite mascara. My summer mascara is the Hourglass Unlocked mascara. 
I ran out. It's dried up. I have just been using uh, the Fenty Beauty Full Frontal Mascara for the summer. It actually works really well. It doesn't cake. It doesn't... What am I talking about? A cake? Of course it's a cake. Uh, what I'm meaning is it doesn't flake. Um, and it builds up beautifully uh, upon itself without making me have spider lashes or like, you know, the gross, the gross lashes. So I would recommend it. I like it. I still like my Hourglass Unlocked better because I can just wash it up with water. And in summer, that's kind of a big deal for me. So for brows, uh, this is going to be a personal preference. I have enough brow hairs that I don't really feel like I need to go in with any kind of pencil in summertime. All I do is take my Benefit 24 hour brow setter or the got to be gel. I, I need that got to be to come to Canada. They have like a brow setting product. But it's not coming to Canada. I really want to try it. Anyway, I use those two products. I literally just set my brows and I walk away. It's just an everyday brow for me. It's just my natural brows. So, I mean, I know, I know I'm blessed to have that. So I'm going to take advantage of it. Full brows is my jam um, and I have them. So I'm just going to set them and then I will even just run my fingers over them a little bit. And, oops, and I call it a day at that. All right, last product in the arsenal is lips. Listen, I am a gloss girl in summer. I wear gloss 24 seven. My lips get so dried out in the summer heat that I don't really like to wear lipsticks or anything super drying, but I have found the products of the summer. I, I have multiples, which I'm going to do a different video on because it's, it's going to take some time. But my number one product has been the Shiseido Color Gel Lip Balm in 105 Poppy. This product is so good. It's like a gel crossed with a lipstick. And oh, you'll see how I use it. First of all, I'm going to line my lips. I like with this poppy color to um, line my lips with a little bit of a contour color, or a darker color. So I either use Endless Cacao by Makeup Forever or I will use Stone by MAC. They do have a little bit of a different undertone. Um, I'm gonna use Endless Cacao today. So after I have created that contour line, I just blend it out a little bit with my pinky, just so it's blended into my lip, but not taking away the edge. And then I go in with Poppy from Shiseido. And this is a very nice, uh, it's not orange, well, kind of orange, orangey red, orangey red. Usually I can't use oranges, so, you know, it's more red than, than orange. Um, and then I'm going to apply this, but I'm not going to swipe it on. What I do is take it and I tap it. And then I'll just take my finger and blend it in with that lip liner. Oh, and it is so good such a good color for summer i would love to try a few more of these i do have two other ones here the one is bamboo number 111 and it is a beautiful beautiful nude let's see if i can even show it to you so they have a gloss like like finish to them but they still give you the opaqueness of a lipstick if you swipe these on they go on very fully opaque and then the other one I have is 113 Secura, and this one is a beautiful, cool toned pink. Um, let me see, where can I put this? Wow, this is not easy doing in the camera here. Let's line this up first. So this one is, so there's Secura, it's a cool toned pink, and then there's Bamboo, which is that nude. And you can see how glossy they look. I have used all three of these all summer long. Poppy is definitely my favorite. It just goes with my skin tone a little bit better. So that's kind of why I edged out the others, but I have used the other two quite thoroughly. Okay, lastly, setting spray. In summer, setting spray is quite important if I'm going out in the sun in an event that I need my makeup to stay on. I really struggle with keeping it on in the heat. I sweat and it just like pulls everything off. So 
There's a setting spray I actually have found that is the best for summer, but I hate the smell. <laughs> so every time I use it, I complain about the smell. I just, it's, it's not for me. So what I'm speaking of is the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray Party All Night Stay All Day by Charlotte Tilbury. Such a good setting spray. Your makeup goes nowhere. It's non-drying. It does not dry my skin out. It lets my skin breathe, but I hate the scent. It's like this perfumey cherry scent. Yeah, it doesn't smell as bad when you smell it out of the bottle, but when you spray it on your face, it's almost overwhelming. So pardon me while I spray my face and then hold my mouth shut very for a little bit after so that I don't inhale any of this. Like, it's just so potent, so potent, so, so potent. It's so good. So now that I've set, um, this makeup is not going anywhere. If I was going to an event, I would take my puff and a little bit more powder and go through my T-zone again. I'm not doing that today, but it does help in hot weather. And um, there you have it. There is my everyday summer faves, summer 22 bangers. They're so good. So, so good. I have recommended these all throughout summer. As soon as I got them, I was just like, these are phenomenal. There was a few, like the Charlotte Tilbury Complexion Touch. This one, as soon as I put it on, it only took like two times and I was like, yes. Yes, ma'am, that is my favorite. So if you have tried any of these, let me know. Let me know what you think about them. Um, if you do end up trying them, hit me up on Instagram. Give me a chat, let's talk, let's talk makeup. And in the meantime, I'm going to take this beautiful face and probably go read a book with it, to be honest. You guys take care. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.